Hello ladies and gents, Ro here, and welcome to Nona Films. Today we're going to be continuing the iMovie tutorials. I'm going to get right into it, open up iMovie, and uh, to start off, um, last week we covered uh, cropping, video cropping. Be sure to check out that video, it shows you guys how to crop a video and uh, additional uh, Ken Burns and how to adjust and move the footage as you're watching the video and have it zoom in as you're playing. But let's go on to this video. Today we're going to be covering uh, volume, I mean no, not volume, we're going to be covering uh, stabilization <laughs> not volume and uh, first to start off I'm actually going to uh, zoom in my clip since we only got such a small project we're working on I'm gonna delete my picture-in-picture -picture, and I also have a tutorial on that if you don't know how I did the picture-in-picture -picture. but here you are now we have one clip and I took lowered the volume already on it and we have one clip here we're gonna work on I'm gonna select the clip and we're gonna go straight we were previously in cropping so we're gonna go straight into uh, stabilization and to start off it's gonna be right here. Stabilize shaky video. In order, this is base the basic, most basic uh, how to stabilize a video is when you you will click it and it'll, uh, it will do this little processing thing. It will take a little. It will take uh, maybe it depends how big your clip is. Since my clip is such a seven point two second clip, it's gonna take. It's gonna be really fast to process it and stabilize it. But then once it does process, you're gonna get the default thirty three percent stabilization. If you noticed, look at this screen right here. I'm gonna show you guys what it does. Like. As you notice, it does zoom in the video basically, right? Because when you're recording, you tend when it shakes, it's more most of the time it's the outsides of the videos that you see shaking. So it, the, the way this stabilization works, there's like three different kinds of stabilizing a video, and iMovie uses the zooming in type of one, where you, and you increase it, meaning it's gonna zoom in even more in order to reduce this, the shakiness out of the outside. Now, what I I honestly recommend, I recommend you don't use this stabilize feature. I recommend if you're uploading straight to YouTube, I recommend you actually use YouTube's stabilizing feature because when you upload a video to YouTube and it's really shaky, YouTube will actually give you an option. We found this video really shaky. Would you like us to fix it for you? You want to hit yes to that. Give it a maybe, depending on how big your uh, video is, but normally it takes less than five minutes. And uh, it will actually stabilize it and it, keep it, it doesn't zoom in. It's a different kind of stabilization. I forgot what it's called exactly, but it stays on the outside but it and it basically shakes the outside of the video it shakes it instead of zooming in like this does here like this zooms in on on uh, YouTube it actually shakes the outside stabilizing your footage which I like a lot better because then you don't have it all zoomed in and all like I like iMovie does so so yeah be sure to check my advice there because trust me I move I mean iMovie's uh, interface for stabilizing isn't as good as uh, YouTube's itself so then Last but not least, we're going to go fix ro rolling shutter. This one here, you honestly do not need to mess around with a lot at all, depending well, unless your video is like really, really shaky, like like as if you were you just had a huge beer and you're now you're recording yourself. If you wanted to fix that, then this is this basically what it does is it basically reduces the motion distortion of your video. So if you select, let's say it's still going to do the processing thing, just like. If you have a long clip, it will process and it will let you select it. Then you can choose how high you want to change it. But as you can see, it still it does this small zoom in. But it, it, the way it works is it basically reduces uh, like the quality. I mean, it increases the quality of video when it shakes a lot, basically. That's... That, like, let's just say let's, you don't really need to worry about this. Fix rolling shutter because you'll most never have to... Uh, fix fix the rolling shutter so many one would probably work on is the stabilized shaky video other than that you guys that's it for stabilization hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to leave a comment below what i should cover next or if you have any questions regarding imovie 10.0 thank you guys for watching catch you guys next mm. tutorial Later.